We develop simulation techniques for uh, understanding the spread of spatial diseases or epidemics. We're developing models uh, that maybe can account for the spread of swine flu in the future in the next few weeks or months. We really have to understand mobility networks, how humans travel worldwide on a large scale on the air transportation network and also on the small scale, commuting traffic, etc. We had data on the worldwide air transportation network, but we didn't have uh, reliable data for the smaller scales. And then we came across wheresgeorge.com, which is this online bill tracking system. And then we developed this idea that maybe we can use the traveling bills as a proxy for human mobility. And that's uh, how it all started. We know that human mobility is a key factor in shaping the, the spatial uh, dynamics of diseases. So right now there's data for the United States and for Mexico. There are many cases in Mexico City and a few cases in the US. So what we do, we take this data and inform our model uh, with this data. And then we have the flux of passengers from Mexico into the United States. And we have, you know, the cases in the US already. And we fix our simulation to these boundary conditions and then we run our simulation and see what the outcome is. We computed what is known as the worst case scenario, that is what would happen, how would this disease spread if no measures were taken at all. This is a four week projection. In the worst case scenario we project um, around 15 to 1700 cases in the United States. Of course there are measures being taken and uh, so as time pro progresses, the prediction is going to be different from what is actually happening. So at every time we have to feed our simulations with the new information and run the next projection. So uh, what we are planning on doing is we take the simulation and A, uh, try to mimic uh, reactions of public health and so forth that would reduce the basic reproduction number and then we see uh, what the simulation would look like if that is taken into account. So these 1,700 cases in the worst case scenario after four weeks are distributed in space and we can identify sort of red zones in the United States that have a very high likelihood of showing a case within the next few weeks.